this whole just being in my house without even saying anything, that's weird. I want to tell you guys a quick story which will tie into this deck profile. I remember in high school, I had a huge crush on this girl in my government class. I used to sit right next to her and we used to do projects together. You could say that I was the ultimate friend that put myself in the friend zone and let me tell you why. One day, I actually got the courage to ask her out, but I asked her probably one of the most embarrassing ways possible. I told her that when we turn 30, we're going to date. And she looked at me with the most puzzled face and she was like, oh, okay, you want me when I'm 30, That that's okay. I guess we could cover it up and say that I was being romantic, that I would still want to be with her when we're 30, but that's just as much courage as I had at the time. And while I'm not 30 just yet, the moment I do turn 30, hey, all bets are off, I'm gonna find her. So in essence, the moral of the story is, if you take a more direct approach, you're more than likely to get a direct answer. I urge you guys to go get that guy, that girl, whatever you want, and at least get a direct answer. Sometimes you might not get what you wish, but at least you have some clarity. Now with Thunder Dragons, I actually did the exact same thing. I tried to make this Thunder Dragon deck as glamorous as possible. I wanted to have so many awesome combos, where to be honest with you guys, the more direct approach was not only consistent, it actually got the job done. In this deck profile, we're gonna show you how powerful Thunder Dragon Chaos can be post the Tune Chaos set. It's a rather awesome deck, so let's jump on in. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. A direct approach to the Thunder Dragon strategy Hopefully, it's going to be the same results as my high school sweetheart. So if you guys want to see a Thunder Dragon game, then we have a duel. And of course, let us know down below in the comment section, what do you think about the Thunder Dragon Chaos strategy? Is it good enough to compete in this format? So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the main deck at three copies of Thunder Dragon. I'm gonna kind of breeze through the Thunder Dragons. I hope that I do it unlike my burning of this video. Three copies of Thunder Dragon Roar, three copies of Thunder Dragon Dark. Next, we only play two copies of Thunder Dragon Hawk. Let me talk about two copies of Thunder Dragon Hawk. There was a point in time where Hawk was the best Thunder Dragon card in the entire deck. Those days are long gone with Thunder Dragon Colossus now being banned. Two copies of Thunder Dragon Matrix. Um, this is another card that unfortunately I had to cut down to two. The last Thunder Dragon is Thunder Dragon Duo. This card is phenomenal. It is your Chaos Sorcerer of the deck. It can trigger any of your Thunder Dragons in the following turn. And it allows you to reset cards back into your deck. Really, really good. It can be a 3100 beater. That's going to sum it up for our Thunder Dragon Monsters. Moving on to our normal summons, I typically say that you want to play five normal summons inside of the deck. For this particular strategy, I'm going to bend the rules and play six. We run three copies of Battery Man Solar and three copies of Aloof Lupine. Aloof Lupine is harder to hand trap and allows you to pop off with at least one of your Thunder Dragon's effects provided which you banish, but Battery Man Solar is the bee's knees, ladies and gentlemen. There is a three card combo I'm gonna show you with Battery Man Solar. It is probably the best card to open up going first. If your opponent does not stop you, you can wind up with a four negation Apollosa as well as a Thunder Dragon Titan that is guaranteed to activate its effect. We run one copy of Black Dragon and one copy of White Dragon. Next is one copy of Chaos of Valkyria. This card allows us to banish a light or dark monster, so it's an Omni Banish and can send cards from our deck to the graveyard. We finish up our Chaos cards with the Chaos Creator. I think players have not yet realized that the Chaos Creator is actually a Thunder Monster, meaning that it comes up for almost not much. Something, but not much. The Chaos Creator can be searched with Thunder Dragon Fusion, but unfortunately, after activating a Thunder Monster, we can't tribute it off for Colossus. Moving forward, the reason why we had to drop so many of the precious cards that we wanted to run, I figured that the Thunder Dragon strategy, while really good, pretty straightforward, amazing at board break, still needs to play hand traps. Now, the three hand traps I decided to play was moving on back to my boy Shifty Boy and Dimensional Shifter. 
Ignoring the fact that your black and white dragons and your chaos creator and your chaos Valkyrie would be a little dead under dimensional shifter, this card is amazing. There aren't too many matchups where Dimensional Shifter will literally ruin an opponent's entire turn. Being a walking macrocosmos on their field is just amazing. And the cool thing about Dimensional Shifter is that Shifter plus your Battery Man Solar is still full combo. I just could not resist playing an amazing, incredible card inside of this deck. The next three cards is a monster we're not scared of playing, Nibiru the Primal Being. It doesn't matter how strong we make that token, Thunder Dragon Titan can always just destroy it as we push on. Nibiru allows us to tribute our opponent's monsters, prevent them from comboing off, and then later we can just go for game. It is an excellent card to have when you are going second. The thing that I love about this deck is that both of my monsters are light and dark, so there's still chaos requirements for the Chaos Valkyria, the Chaos Creator, or White and Black Dragon. Moving on to our spell cards, we run three copies of Thunder Dragon Fusion. I've seen builds run two copies, and while I'm not saying it's incorrect, I feel that a reinforcement of the army on the next turn, a critical juncture to your combo situation, and having the presence of shuffling back in your Thunder Dragon cards that are banished in your graveyard is just a little too hard to ignore. Next is three copies of Chaos Space. Proceed to discard almost any monster, actually any monster in your deck, and search the appropriate uh, Chaos Dragon or Chaos card. It's really good for helping out combos. The fact that it can shuffle in cards to draw is amazing. Two copies of Allure Darkness. I wanted to run three, but in all honesty, we only have one real target for Allure Darkness, and that's Thunder Dragon Roar. Thunder Dragon Dark isn't the best of targets, and Allure Darkness, while can banishing any of the other dark monsters, it's pretty much a waste. So I felt that two copies of Allure Darkness was that sweet spot. One copy of Gold Sarcophagus, one copy of Instant Fusion, and two copies of Cold by the Grave are going to wrap up our spells inside of the deck, bringing us at a 42 card deck. I really like how this Thunder Dragon deck plays, as it can make some really huge boards going first and break boards going second. Moving on to the extra deck, I don't think that there were really any budget options for this deck. I guess if you can't afford Nibiru the Primal Bing, running cards like Effect Veiler, it still is a light monster and a disruption. I think that's a pretty solid substitute if you guys can't afford Nibiru because there really isn't a current card to replace it, or at least not at the top of my mind. I'm actually thinking about a budget hand trap guide video. Let me know down below in the comment section if that's something you want to see. Moving on to the extra deck, one Apollosa the Bow Goddess. Of course, we're going to have budget options for Apollosa the Bow Goddess. One copy of Unchained Abomination. This card is ridiculously good. It destroys cards for Titan destroying cards and then destroys cards for existing. Amazing in this deck. One BLS Soldier of Chaos. This We're also going to have budget options for this card, but it's really easy to set up in the Thunder Dragon deck, which gives strategies like Ed Blitch or sometimes even Adam Antipate are really hard problems because it can't be targeted. One copy of Nightmare Unicorn, one copy of Union Carrier, one copy of Vert Anaconda, one copy of IP Mascarena, one copy of Cross Sheet, one copy of Nightmare Phoenix, one Link Kribo, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Never thought that this card would be played in a, uh, any deck, to be honest, but it's important sometimes when you open Thunder Dragon Fusion and Thunder Dragon. You can make this card and then banish it with a Thunder Monster in your hand to be able to special summon your Titan. One common area attack and two copies of Thunder Dragon Titan. Some players decide to play three. I think you can get away with two because as long as you have one in your extra deck, you can fuse a Thunder Dragon Titan in your graveyard or banish to summon the second one. Now, an alternative option, which isn't necessarily budget, is Access Code Talker. I think this is actually my 15th card. So uh, it's a really good card for helping you break boards in this particular deck, but obviously it is expensive. Some cards that I actually do want to talk about is Thunder Dragon Thunder Mech Storm. Is that Thunder Thunder Thunderstorm Mech? This card is a pretty decent card because it can use those banished Thunder Dragon monsters and Topologic Trisbana, which is an amazing card to be able to destroy your opponent's back row and it can potentially trigger your Thunder Dragon monsters. In fact, you guys can use these cards as budget options or any, really any rank too. There's also Topologic Trisbana and Borlo Dragon. Those cards are cheap alternative cards that you could be playing inside of your deck instead of your Apollosa or your IP Masquerade or even your Black Cluster Soldier. 
that is it for the main board and the extra deck. Let me show you guys these sick combos. So the ultimate three card combo does require you to have a battery man solar. You're also going to need a white dragon or black dragon in your hand. Kind of easy to search now that you have chaos space. And you're also going to need a thunder dragon hawk. This combo will blow your mind. It is insane for negate Opelosa with a thunder dragon titan to be able to destroy a card and depending on if you did use chaos space or other situations you could be set for the entire game what you would want to do is start off by normal summoning your battery man solar using its effect to send thunder dragon roar from your deck to the graveyard and then you're going to use the effect of your thunder dragon hawk to special summon thunder dragon roar to your side of the field trigger the effect of battery man solar let me move it over here and then use your token and your Thunder Dragon Roar for a Link Summon into Cross Sheet. Now you won't be using Cross Sheet's effect anytime soon, you'll actually use it at the end of the combo, but you do need Cross Sheet, especially right there, since you actually need to be able to point it to something. Trigger the effect of your Thunder Dragon Roar to Special Summon Thunder Dragon Dark from your deck to your side of the field, and then banish the appropriate monster in your graveyard. Seeing that I have a Light Dragon in hand, I'm going to banish a Dark, to be able to special summon itself to your side of the field. Use both your Thunder Dragon Dark and your White Dragon Wiper Buster for a Link Summon into your Union Carrier. Let me rewind actually right there because both of these monsters have different types and attributes. If it's White Dragon, you're gonna have to do it a little different, but if it's a Black Dragon, you can obviously use those two straight for the Union Carrier. So moving back just a little bit, I'm gonna place the Black Dragon to my side of the field. I'm gonna use both the Battery Man Solar and the White Dragon Wyvern Buster, again, it does not matter, to be able to make Union Carrier to my side of the field. Trigger the effect of White Dragon Wyvern Buster to get Black Dragon Callop Serpent, and then proceed to banish the White Dragon Wyvern Buster to special summon the Black Dragon Callop Serpent to your side of the field. Use your Black Dragon Callop Serpent and your Thunder Dragon Dark for your last Link Summon into IP Masquerina, really important that you put it to where Union Carrier points to, and then trigger the effect of your Thunder Dragon Dark to add a Thunder Dragon Fusion. Now I'm going to activate Thunder Dragon Fusion, I'm going to merge my Thunder Dragon Dark, my Thunder Dragon Hawk, and my Thunder Dragon Roar right into the Thunder Dragon Titan, and now I'm going to trigger the effect of Cross Sheet to be able to Special Summon a Battery Man Solar back to my side of the field. I'm going to use the effect of Union Carrier targeting my IP Mascarena to equip a Thunder Dragon Dark. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, on our opponent's turn, we can use the effect of IP Mascarena to link one, two, three, and four to make a four disruption Opelosa. But since Thunder Dragon Dark was sent to the graveyard, it can trigger its effect to be able to add a Thunder Dragon Matrix from your deck to your hand. And here we have it a five disruption Thunder Dragon board with the ability to replenish a lost card with your Thunder Dragon Fusion in the graveyard. And if you use Chaos Space to get into one of your light or dark dragons, you can additionally draw a card. This combo is too strong. Now let's say for example you guys hate running the risk of being hand trapped. Don't worry ladies and gentlemen, I have a simpler combo for you that it's a lot harder to be hand trapped and also allows the deck to be a little consistent. You're going to need an aloof lupine and either a thunder dragon matrix in your hand or a thunder dragon rule. But let's face it, that's in a perfect world. There are so many situations where Aloof Lupine and Battery Man Solar are just outright amazing. I'm just showing you guys two isolated combos. Of course, if you want to see these decks in action, I do have that live duel. So we're going to start off by normal summoning Aloof Lupine to banish that Thunder Dragon Roar to banish Thunder Dragon Matrix. Really important that you banish Thunder Dragon Matrix because your Thunder Dragon Roar can be your Chain Link 1 and your Thunder Dragon Matrix can be your Chain Link 2. No one wants to Ash Blossom a Matrix. They want to Ash Blossom the big money card and that's not possible. Using the effect of Thunder Dragon Roar, we'll special summon a Thunder Dragon Dark and we'll add a Matrix from our deck to our hand. And now we can use Aloof Lupine and the Thunder Dragon Dark into a Link Summon of IP Mascarena, triggering the effect of Thunder Dragon Dark to add a Thunder Dragon Fusion. From here on out, because we don't have any other extenders, we can finish up with Thunder Dragon Fusion, fusing our Dark, our Roar, and our Matrix for the summon of a Thunder Dragon Titan. And here we have it, guys. We have the ability to disrupt with a Thunder Dragon Matrix, a lot safer of a board, and we still have IP Mascarena to be able to disrupt our opponent. Hypothetically, we could actually substitute this 
Where is that card? We could substitute this for a cross sheep. And if we wanted to search a different Thunder Dragon monster other than Thunder Dragon Matrix, perhaps we're trying to make some cool board, we can summon the aloof Lupine back to our side of the field and use all three of these into a three negate Opelosa. It all depends on what you are trying to do with the particular deck. Well, thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Thunder Dragon Chaos deck profile. It was really, really fun to make. As always, be sure to check out these other videos that I have. They are simply amazing, just like you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll catch you on the next video.